It's been a pretty stressful time for air passengers, but just how bad have cancellations been and where has fared the worst? Well, Sky News has had access to some exclusive data that gives us a bit of an idea. First, have a look at this. This shows the proportion of flights that have been cancelled out of all major UK airports from January up until last week, so essentially the year so far. And look, a bit of a leaderboard. Gatwick at the top cancelled 3.2% of its flights. Uh, then Glasgow, Bristol, Gatwick actually cancelled about 10 times more flights than Stansted did at the bottom there. That was the UK's best performing airport. Now, we can break this data down by airline as well. And look, what this shows us is a bit of a global picture. Lots of international airlines facing similar challenges. China at the top, clearly affected by COVID issues and rules. But just cast your eye down. I want to draw your attention to British Airways uh, in the middle there. British Airways was the worst performing UK airline in terms of cancellations. Now, it would say that's because it runs a much more long haul schedule. It's much more exposed to global factors. But look, it's done much worse than Ryanair right down at the bottom. One of the best performing airlines in the world. It says because it didn't let go of so many staff during the pandemic, it's not facing the crises that some other businesses are. Now, how did the UK fare internationally? Have a look. A similar picture again, China because of its COVID rules, America, Canada, very slow to open up. But look, the UK was actually the worst performing country out of all the major European countries when it came to flight cancellations so far this year. Now, when were most of these cancellations? Because the context here really matters. Essentially, this shows the proportion of cancellations compared to what was scheduled uh, going back all the way to the start of the year. You might think it's been bad recently, and it has, look, but proportionally, more flights were actually cancelled in February, March time. It won't have felt as bad because fewer of us were trying to travel at that time. And you can see that more clearly when we look at a bigger graph that shows similar information. Uh, the blue is the scheduled and the red is the cancellation going back before the pandemic. Look. You might look at that red and say, oh, that's not that bad. But look, it's the uh, schedule here is still fewer flights scheduled than there were pre-pandemic. And that means you were eight times more likely to have a flight cancelled in June this year than you were in June 2022. Now, it's important to note this data only includes cancellations within 48 hours of departure. So things could be much worse. Many airports like Gatwick and Heathrow are trying to take action to remove some of the uncertainty. But it's still a worrying time for passengers.